Hey guys, in this video I'll be going over the solution to add a bishop to from Rakoshev March Long Challenge 2020. So in this problem, we have a chessboard and a bishop on it. And we want the bishop to visit all of the black cells on the board. For now, we'll just consider subtask 1. And in subtask 1, the bishop must start at the cell in row 1 and column 1. Our strategy for this case will be to visit the diagonals as shown here. And the way we do it specifically is, so we start at the first cell and then we move down and right by one cell to move to the second diagonal. And then we go to the bottom cell of this diagonal and then the top cell of this diagonal. And in order to visit all of the cells in this diagonal, and then we move back to the middle. And after we finish visiting all cells in this diagonal, we move on to the next diagonal. So we move down and right one cell again. And we basically do the same thing. We move down, and then we move back up, and then we move to the middle. And then we repeat this process for the rest of the diagonals until we have visited all the cells. So this strategy works for subtask 1 when the bishop starts in the first row and the first column. But in subtask 2, the bishop can start anywhere. So in this case, we can just move the bishop to uh, cell, the cell in row 1 and column 1 and then we'll perform our algorithm for the first subtask. And moving to uh, cell 1-1 one, one is pretty easy. So first we just will move the bishop to the main diagonal. And then after that, after the bishop is on the main diagonal, we can move it to the first cell in one move. And after that, we can just use our solution for subtask 1. So now I will explain the code for my solution. So here's my code. In the first part of my code, I just input the initial position of the bishop. And then remember, the first thing of our solution is to move our bishop to the cell 1-1. Uh, one, one. So in order to do that, first we move the bishop to this diagonal. So we move, um, we move basically move to this coordinate and then after we're on the main diagonal we can just move to 1-1 one, one in one move. And I store these moves in a list of pairs and then after I uh, add all the moves into the list I just output it. Okay so you might be wondering why I why the coordinates for the diagonal are uh, r plus c divided by 2 and r plus c divided by 2. This is because uh, you can figure this out with some math. So x equals to y, this is the main diagonal. And then this is the point which the bishop starts at. And we want to move our bishop to the main diagonal um, uh, along this line. So what we can do is we can create two equations, one for uh, one for the line of the main diagonal and the other is for the line of the other is for the line of the is the other is for the line for the movement of the bishop for the first move and the equation looks like this so then if you if you solve these two equations then you'll find out that the intersection point is exactly when uh, both the row and the column are uh, r plus c divided by 2. Okay, so after we move to um, the first cell, we'll process the first three diagonals, which are shown over here. So uh, for, each, for each diagonal, the first thing we do is we move to the middle of the diagonal. Then after that, we visit the 
we visit the first row of the diagonal, which is up here. Then we visit the first column of the of the diagonal, which is over here. And in the, that way, we will be able to visit all of the cells in the diagonal. And the last thing we do is we move back to the middle of the diagonal. So then we can move to the middle of the next diagonal. And then for and the next thing we do is we move to the last four diagonals. So in this case, everything's pretty much the same. We move to the middle, but then the time uh, to go to the the top, the topmost cell is the cell in row in row uh, no the cell in column eight. So we first go to the cell here, and then we go to the cell in row eight, which is in the bottom over here, and then we move to the middle of the diagonal, and yeah, once all the diagonals have been visited, then all the cells have been visited. So this is the, uh, yeah, so this is basically the solution for this problem. And if this was helpful, then feel free to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, then feel free to ask them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.